<clears throat> okay, so this video, we're going to construct the, the y-axis, the uh, one with the bars that go down here. I'm gonna, we're going to construct the slide. I'm going to try to be quick just so I can get through it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get these clamps. These clamps may be a little tight. You may need to slide them down a little bit, but you want to make sure they're on. And you want to make sure their holes line up because that's how we're going to clamp them later. Assemble the other side, and uh, here we go. So it's a clamp that would go in there, and then we go ahead and we get this uh, other one done. Go ahead, and get the sides again. Make sure the holes line up. And, uh, go ahead. Okay. So make sure the clamps, the, uh, the side parts are facing the same direction of both of them. And then so that part's done. Then uh, you want this where the uh, circles on the bottom, doesn't matter which direction you put the rest of it, then you uh, kind of snap it in place. that uh, it's like this to where you have the uh, the part where the uh, bolt's going to go, the inside part, this direction, this is facing this way on the front, the back, this underside circle arch is facing there, and then you go ahead and put two of these long bolts in the back, and uh, then you need, you absolutely need lock fastener washers on this. Uh, this, this will fall apart on you in the middle of your job if you don't use lock washers. Do not use flat washers. Use the ones with the spring. Very important. Okay. There we go. I'll probably end up shooting this video a couple times because finally I'll figure out a way to make it easy somehow. Okay, then you go ahead and uh, you lock, lock it down. Okay, then you go ahead and you put two more uh, nuts on. Put them in about an inch and a quarter or about 35 millimeters. Then you put on two more washers, and then you put this through like this, and then you go ahead and you put another nut on, and you put another nut on the other side. No need for washers on this side. And then the washers that are inside, you go ahead and you pull back out. So these ones are flush against the uh, bolt. Uh, the bolt in. All right, and then you, uh, you go ahead and you tighten the washers down on this. And uh, what this does is this gives uh, a rigid uh, structure to uh, that has no play in it uh, to the. Uh, y-axis or, or where the table's going to go. Okay, so that's tight. You kind of see let's get that straight on there. Got to get these in. There we go. You can kind of see how uh, that would work. Okay, so I only got a couple minutes later, so now what you're going to do is you're going to put one bolt 
through each of these four holes. And then we're going to put three bolts each. Okay, it looks like I might have enough time to build this all in this video. Okay, so you go ahead and you put three nuts on each one. Uh, they kind of need to be tight, not too tight, but uh, you want it tight enough that it won't loosely wiggle around. So a total of three. And this part may change. I'm switching over to some, uh, right now I'm using metal springs to hold the table on. Uh, so you may see you have metal springs and you may actually have plastic springs. Just a matter of uh, how far I get along on uh, making everything. Okay. Okay. There we go. Uh, I'll show you what this looks like here in a minute. Okay, there you go. Now what we need to do is we need to straighten this up and uh, we need to uh, uh, put it uh, in, uh, in place. So now I'm going to go ahead and put it in here and then I'll shoot another video real quick showing you what that looks like.